Matt. How in the world are you? I'm good. Good. Yes. Be specific. I'm very good. Not that specific. No. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so happy. I'm so hairy. I mean happy. And both. I can't see anything. It's just my beard. (laughs) You are only beard. Yes. Everything you see is constructed out of hair. Um, Miracle of engineering. Yes. Take that, Bayonetta. (laughs) And that came out today for the Switch. Oh, did it? Yes. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. But no, doing very good. I am now officially an apartment renter. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Yes. Apartment get. Apartment did get got. Uh, finished up most of the paperwork today. Have a little bit more to do. Uh, but yes, very happy about that. I will be moving in with a buddy of mine, and it will be. The exact same, except I'll be spending more money. Splendid. Yes, that part I'm not happy about. Um, but it's it's exciting. To I don't know. The the more you do as an adult, the more I kind of feel more like an adult. Because like right now, I still kind of feel like a nineteen year old who's going. To school, but I'm not going to school, and I'm not 19. I was gonna say a 19 year old who's going through puberty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> what do you mean was? Being 19, it's great. Then I became 20, and now I'm 21. And now I am 21. Yes. The full power of a man. Yes. Um. Yeah, that's about the most exciting thing that's happened to me all week is doing that. Um. Because work has been kind of boring. Haven't really done anything super exciting. Um, which is good and bad. Good in the sense that I don't despise anyone. That wasn't like dramatic effect. I kind of had a burp in my throat. But it's bad because most of the time I'm just kind of sitting at the front waiting for someone to come get gas. And then it's just me sitting on my phone for like an hour and a half. And then someone comes in and I wait another hour and a half. And then someone comes in and then I close. Riveting. Yes. Yes. That is the real life. Um, the better life. Video games. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. I was been playing scary as I'll get out. Yeah, I'm supposed to. Don't let that be your life. Do Hopefully other you are listening to this on the SoundCloud version of this podcast. I hope you're. I hope you're watching. So I'm watching you. Through the lens of a camera. Well, that's where they are. Yeah. They're in there. Yeah. Oh, they're in there? Yeah. That explains why we have 106. We're all in cameras. No, we have 167. 69? 169, I think. What? Oh, so no, seven. S- se- yeah. <laughs> we have seven subscribers. 167. <laughs> we were at 168, and apparently we said something that somebody did disagreed with can you imagine it was that one person who's like you guys don't know what you're talking about about comic books i'm like i didn't realize 
since we've said we never read comics. Shocker. Or we say disclaimers like, we know nothing about this trailer except for a movie that they appeared in that they weren't starring in, but they were in it nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. I, I okay. guess that's not clear enough. No, it just actually goes to the whole thing about people write comments without actually watching or paying attention to the entire video. But That's okay. Attention spans are lacking. Been playing a whole lot of Subnautica. Um, Rated M because it's naughty. I did it. I don't want to do it anymore. I did it. (laughs) You just turn around and just go boom to the stack of games. like, oh no. No, no, it has gotten more terrifying though because I've been going deeper into the dark depths. Of the deep? Yes. And the farther I go, the more terrifying it gets. Um... Even just the middle ground is terrifying. I encountered my first giant uh, death class of creature. And it terrified me because I had no idea it was even around until I saw its shadow. And then by the time I noticed that, I saw it go over me. And I'm like, oh. And I was in like my tiny little one-man sub that has like no defense against that thing so i just i I couldn't even remember what i was there to get as soon as i saw it i was like nope went back to my base built a giant underwater mech suit and then started exploring everything using that but before you built the mech suit you built a fort of blankets and pillows in your base i wish and you're like, he can't get me here. Well, the area that I do have my base in, they don't occupy that area, which is nice. But still, pillow blanket fort doesn't hurt. No, no, it doesn't. And that's why the game is a 1 out of 10 in my book. I can't build a <laughs> No blanket, blanket forts. Fort. No. Just a wasted potential. I mean, what were they thinking leaving out that feature? Exactly. It's in development. No, it's For a full game. Oh, no. I think it was like a year and a half. Yeah. May have been two years. I don't know. To not think of a pillow blanket fort. Because when I bought the game, it had been out for a decent amount of time. But that's all right. Still fun. Uh, And it's only getting more and more terrifying. Some weird thing appeared to me after I, like, took took a nap something was projecting itself into my mind asking me what i am and i was like mm, i don't want to be here anymore i want to leave it's okay that's, right now that's just zach talking through the live stream no this was weird that's, alien that's face the game. it was an alien face it was an alien face okay i would have a problem with that it was a yeah i and Like, there's nothing as far as, like, an existing person on the planet or any kind of, like... Well, I mean, there's there's some, like, evidence of civilization, but there's, like, like everyone on the planet's dead. Because apparently there's some, like, giant global virus, which is... And you're only safe from it underwater. No, it's actually where it's coming from, is underwater. (laughs) So what are you doing there? Um, you were shot down. The whole planet is under quarantine, and the alien race that was there was trying to uh, cure the disease, but they couldn't figure it out in time. Um, I still don't know what exactly it takes to cure it, but... Uh, I can't leave and no one can rescue me because there's a giant gun that shoots anything that gets close to the planet and that's why the ship was destroyed and there was actually a smaller ship that was near the giant one that I was on and they caught the distress beacon 
that the main ship released when it crashed. And when they came to rescue me, I they told me to come to this island because it was like one of two islands in the whole game. And I got there, and there was like this giant alien tower. And as the ship was getting closer, the tower started moving. And I was like, what? And it's a giant gun. And it shot down my help. So, I now have to... Uh, I'm guessing I have to cure the disease now. Because there's a, there's a way you can turn the gun off so that you can leave. But you can only do it if... Uh, you're cured because it does like a, a blood test and uh, my hands are all bubbly now and green oh yeah I, I took my hands off and scanned myself and my hands were uh, clearly that of an infected person um, which is kind of cool they've I, not necessarily in the sense of like I'm, I can't wait to die of a horrible death uh, but it's they they put a story in you know it's like I have something to do other than swim mm -hmm. I was like most survival games don't really have like a an end game I mean like M M Minecraft got one but Minecraft isn't that great it's very it's very simple it, really Minecraft is only good with mods Minecraft is virtual Lego. No, that is um, Roblox. And also, Lego, Lego, Lego. I think made like an MMO game a while ago. So, but they also have dimensions, which is garbage. But yeah, very fun. Um, I actually haven't even touched Slime Rancher sense because once I started being able to go down to the the deep dark depths I got like immediately sucked back in so that's all I've been playing Steven what about you I've been playing Breath of the Wild it is the Legend of Zelda game that takes place Long after any of the other Legend of Zelda games. Here, let me break down how the Zelda timeline. <laughs> um, but thankfully, I finally got my hands on two games I've been looking forward to very much so, and had to pay for a lot of other stuff first before I could gotten by these so the first of which would have to be dragon ball fighter z and this is the day one edition even though i didn't get it on day one but so the thing that you get is two exclusive lobby avatars Ooh, it's exciting and you unlock uh Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta, like, immediately by putting in a code. You mean Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan? No, I don't mean that. Where would you come up with that term? Anyway, aside from that, I kind of regret getting this because look at this box art. It's got... I don't mind that so much, but there's this ugly, like... Uh, where, where's my finger? Okay. This ugly description in two languages, of course, about the features. And it's completely blocking, like, a huge chunk of the box art. I hate it when companies do this to the cover art of games. I love cover art. That's part of the reason I go physical instead of digital. It's something to look at. Something that did much... Oh, yeah. Before we get into the next game. Um, I've only been playing through the tutorial, but it's still tons and tons of fun just doing that. Um, it is strange, though, because 
the entire game, and I heard about this before I got it, the entire game, every option, everything is only accessed once you go online. Like you basically, ha you go to the title screen, press a button, it connects, it goes online. Then ask what lobby you wanna join. And then you can access other stuff like story mode or training or whatever. And you can see other people playing this entire time. So I kind of wanted to just take my PS4 offline and see what happened. <laughs> like, is it one of those games where if it's not online, you can't play any of it, even if you're not playing people online? Because if so, I have an issue with that. A big issue. I'm just hoping that that's not the case. So, it's weird. I've never seen a game set up like that. And the other game, which has gorgeous box art, as I slam it into the computer, is Super Final Edgy Boys. Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. Sometimes it's Final Fantasy Dissidia, sometimes it's Dissidia Final Fantasy. I don't know. But yes, otherwise known as uh, emo Japanese pop stars swinging oversized pieces of metal at each other. This is the Brawler's Edition, which is also a day one edition only. But you didn't get charged any extra for it, so why not? And there's no difference in gameplay. Like, you don't unlock anyone early. I want to say... Most of the characters are unlocked at the start anyway. Played a little bit, again, of the tutorial. It is very fun, and I have to get the soundtrack. Like, there's this one song that plays that basically does remixes of songs from Final Fantasies 1, probably 1 through 15, and then it ends with the Dissidia theme, and it sounds really good, and it's like very long it's probably about 15 minutes long it's a very long because it like looped three times the entire time i was doing tutorial stuff which you know takes a little while they tell you everything like how to move i guess we can't skip that in tutorials now can we you don't know how to walk let me show you but i am looking forward to getting into those games more and playing them a lot. Oh, yeah. I did slightly go into the story mode, which apparently is mostly just cutscenes that you have to unlock by playing other parts of the game. Not a fan of that. I should just be able to go into the storyline or story mode and play it. And throw in more battles. So that there's more gameplay sprinkled in. That's weird. It is weird. It's like you have to unlock the story. Bit by bit. Game developers come up with some weird ideas anyway. 